Hello traders, right, um, this is a bit of an impromptu video because I posted a chart on Twitter at bestforexmethod.com um, about this, uh, not .com, sorry, at bestforexmethod uh, on Twitter. Um, this is a really, really important point. It's a daily chart and uh, this is Dinesh's uh, alert based on the RSI histo uh, breaking the 20 level. You can see how uh, refined it is as it were because that one is obviously not above the 20 or it looks pretty close and this is something that uh, actually off topic slightly something that um, because we've got the new EA now we can actually test the best parameters it may well be I've said this in the past many times about the RSI it's just the the 20 level is arbitrary as far as I know uh, the program was written by someone on Forex Factory I think and um, adapted for trading view uh, by Harry Potter, uh, H. Potter, so, sorry, should I say? And um, as such, I don't know how he achieved these levels, so or arrived at these levels. So, this is a work in progress to test this because we could easily have got the blue arrow there, and as you can see, it would have got us a massive move. Now, that's why I'm making this video because unlike the three CRs, we don't wait for the three CR candle to close. Uh, we actually enter on the alert. So um, the point I wanted to make was that we can't really backtest this in terms of uh, looking at just looking at the charts because where how do we know? Forget the pink arrow. That's the RSI vol bomb, uh, a big big move. I set it to thirty. So when when you get a move of uh, thirty on the RSI histo, um, it will. Uh, trigger this pink arrow once again before the candle closes so the point I'm trying to make is that both of these arrows here the normal Dinesh alert and the uh, uh, the vol bomb could have happened here and we could have got that massive move but what we're looking at in in hindsight is the alert and then the possible move there so you know we're not giving the alert and the indicator the credit it quite possibly deserves the true credit and compared to the RSI to the 3CR which is almost now a totally different strategy wait for the three candle reversal because that's the trigger to say old support has been broken in fact this candle is low in this case but uh, you know you can see clearly support has been broken there or demand if you like and uh, then wait for the pullback and then hit the continuation so that's a massively that's a three-day process this thing here and this thing here is literally telling me because this would have happened quite early on probably you know three hours four or five hours ago look at this because I can get in on a one minute five minute 15 minute trade I'm in bingo and that is the point of this video to uh, to really get you to watch these um, alerts, get the indicator on your charts, um, Dinesh, go and look at his uh, feed, find it off my Twitter feed to find the exact uh, uh, location of the indicator to download, or uh, you will find um, a link to it on my pinned tweet. But that's getting a little bit messy now. But having said that, you know, nothing's easy in life, so use the search facilities to uh, dig deep. So, that's it guys we could be missing out on the potential of this thing because we're just assuming oh that's a little move there well it's a massive move it's a whole day's move of pips but you know it works on every time frame in the same way so you know you could be looking at a 15 minute blue arrow there that's got you into a 15 pip trade uh whilst everyone else is waiting for the the bar to close i hope that makes a lot of sense to you so uh, that was the point of this video uh, there is no more uh, anything more I can add to that. Just um, beware, be aware that backtesting on looking at historical data doesn't give you the uh, full potential that these arrows are giving us, showing us, whatever. So um, you've got to watch them in real time, screen time, set the alerts up. What would have happened? Would This would have triggered the moment that broke the 20 level there. And uh, it could have been five pips into the move. It's about momentum, not uh, distance, as it were. And uh, that could be 
uh, well, certainly making a massive difference to my trading because not only am I getting in on uh, the later move, I'm getting in on the earlier move. So, and oh, we will digress slightly. Three CRs, this occurred to me today, I ought to make a video about it. The three candle reversal, and I have set these alerts up now on a VPS to tell me when the hourly has a 3CR so that I can possibly get the catch the reversal uh, before the continuation and that's important I don't say that on the tweets all I say is 3CR alert uh, and then I'll show you a trade I've taken and um, quite possibly well 99% of the time when I post it on Twitter I'm out of the trade 99% and you'll just see five or six pips here and that is the last 1% of the trade running that is an alert from my uh, VPS telling me that I've either got a, uh, in fact, no, it shouldn't be because we aren't on the hour, so it must be something telling me something else. But I'm trying to trim down all because I'm getting pings going all over the place. So I've taken off all the stuff on my live charts uh, and I'm relying on the VPS to just alert me to the hourly and the uh, H4-3CRs, uh, which makes life it time it tunes them in with the hourly charts and the uh, and the H4 charts that I regularly look at throughout the day. Which I mentioned to someone this morning. It reduces my screen time enormously. Reduces the um, the uh, uh, possibility of making errors because you're watching charts and just jumping in and out of trade trades willy nilly. It's a very very I'm finding it a very very focused and uh, logical systematic way to trade so there we go lots and lots of little um, uh, uh, ways to uh, that I'm finding to uh, adjust my trading methods to for the better and just back quickly to this 3CR so the three candle reversal is a break of resistance in this case um, that is telling us that we you know broken resistance we co might come back and test it as support and um, so uh, what you want to do, another little nuance, that was the word I was looking for just now, lots of new nuances, um, is that the, the less of a wick on this particular um, 3CR type uh, situation, no wick means the pullback, they haven't already pulled back, so that makes it even more likely to pull back deeper. And this is another um, something I want to add to the um, uh, all of our various EAs because we can test these things. We could, I'm sure, these uh, coders, these fantastic coders we have, could actually say, uh, look at a three candle reversal, look to see whether it's into um, supply or resistance, look to see whether uh, it has a big or small wick, look to see whether it's a big or small candle. The bigger the candle, the smaller the wick. I hope that makes sense. The bigger the candle, like this one huge candle small wick if we can get the ea to uh find that into resistance then uh then uh somehow maybe multi time frame teach it to trade uh using the 1 minute reversals or on an hourly chart or just hit it with a tiny stop above the high of that i'm talking about this uh, candle with no wick here so sorry i've gone off topic slightly but i've got so many new ideas coming on board as i uh, spend time away from the charts I just think of these things uh, I have to carry a notepad around with me now but you know it just gets better better and better and it's more logical you know all we're looking at is a combination of two or three candles and we can find trades every one hour two hour and four hours and maybe ought to even look at the three hour charts as well three hour candles so have a great um, holiday break guys uh, I, if I say this is probably my last video before Christmas, I probably end up making another 10. You know how it goes. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.